All righty. So um, this problem is a little intricate. So I'm going to skip a few steps and just assume you know how to integrate and do basic algebra. So f of x is going to be the integral of this. So you take the integral of dt and um, eventually you get uh, negative x cubed over 3 plus x squared plus 3x plus, and you get some number like 203.33 after integrating that. Now, um, once you get there, we, we need to take the derivative of this. So df over dx is just going to be equal to um, negative 3x squared. Uh, sorry, it's just going to be negative x squared, not 3x squared. Negative x squared um, plus 2x plus 3. Okay, and then that will equal some constant. Now, what you can do is to find local minima and maxima, um, you basically are going to have to set this set the derivative to zero because the slope if you have some original graph like this is your original graph and it's going to be like some cubic function so um you know something like something along these lines um the slope where the slopes are zero are where your um turning points are essentially so this is where we can find the intervals on whether it's decreasing or increasing. So if we go ahead and set the slope, the slopes to zero on the graph of F, we're just going to have um, X squared minus two X minus three. And you can just divide the whole equation by negative one to kind of simplify this. So then you should get um, X minus three times X plus one equals zero. So you will get um, x is equal to 3 and negative 1. And these are the turning points for your graph. Now, what do we do with them? Well, what we can do is we can say um, where you have some local minima or maxima of uh, we'll have 3 and we'll have negative 1 over here. We need to find on either side of this whether it's increasing or decreasing. So what we can do is we can go ahead and just plug a nearby point into the slope formula. So we can have F prime at um, say two is going to be equal to negative two, negative two squared plus four plus three. And that's going to be um, three. And then uh, f of four, f prime of four is going to be equal to negative 16 plus eight plus three. And that is going to be um, negative five. Yeah, negative five. So if on the right side of three, the slope is negative five, so the slope is going downwards, and on the left side of three, where we have X is equal to two. So if this is um, two and this is four, the slope is positive on the original graph. So if we have, um, if we are just going to graph this, let's just redo this. We will have something like, um, here's the point uh, X is equal to three. And here's the point x is equal to negative one. So at the point three, we have the slope increasing um, at two and decreasing at four. So it's going to look something like this locally. Okay, and this is on the original graph f, not the derivative. The derivative just tells you what the slope is on either side of the point. So at negative one, we can say that f prime of zero you know, we'll have a zero here and then we'll have, um, sorry, it's going to be zero here and we'll have negative two here. So F prime of zero 
is just going to be three. And then F prime of negative two is just going to be negative four minus eight, or sorry, minus four plus three. And that's going to be negative five. Okay, so what are the slopes like on either side of here? So um, at zero, the slope is positive. So it's going like this. And then on the left side, the slope is negative. So it's going like this. So what you're going to have is some point, um, some point like doing this where you'll have, um, you'll have something like this. <laughs> Okay, so now what we can do is we can just connect the graphs and just do something like this. So this is going off to positive and negative infinity. So if we're going to find the intervals where f is increasing, so or f is decreasing, so you could say f is decreasing on what intervals? Well, it's decreasing on the interval of negative infinite to negative one so it's it's always it's always on some decline slope to negative one and then it's decreasing from three to infinity so it's also decreasing from here and it's increasing in the center between negative one and three and that will be your answer